Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel to your taste. Happy Saturday y'all. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend and that y'all are staying cool because it is super duper hot outside. Today I'm going to show you how to make a spicy garlic butter shrimp. The ingredients you will need is a pound of shrimp. You will need um, this here is a pound of shrimp that has been de-veined and de-shelled. You will need lemons, chopped up parsley, these is six garlic cloves that are roughly chopped, salt, pepper, butter, and I already squeezed the juice from my lemons. You will need some crushed red pepper and some olive oil. Now, if you do not want this to be spicy, you can omit the crushed red pepper or you can use less of it. I'm using a tablespoon, not a tablespoon, I'm sorry. I'm using a teaspoon of it. You could use a half a teaspoon of red pepper in your shrimp. Now, this here, you could use this. This would be perfect as an appetizer or as the main course in your meal. And you could just add some vegetables with it. You can have this on pasta, on some rice, with some mashed potatoes. And it is really, really good with some crusty bread that you could soak up all of that nice juices from the shrimp, from that sauce that we're going to make. It would be really, really good. And the most time that you would spend on this recipe is de-veining and de-shelling your shrimp. That's the most. So this is about less than 20 minutes, y'all, that you can make this recipe for you and your family. Now, if I just released my shrimp avocado salad recipe yesterday, which was Friday. Um, y'all, make sure y'all watch that video. I'm telling you that shrimp avocado salad is really, really good. And it's healthy and it's a perfect recipe for the summertime and if you're looking for if you live near an HEB they still have that wild caught shrimp on sale for $4.97 a pound they're selling them in two pound bags and that sale is good through um, June 27th so if you live next to HEB or you know someone who does Tell them about that wild caught shrimp because you know these prices are outrageous and they're really expensive. So anything you could catch on sale and you know you're going to use it, grab it and let your, let your peoples know. All right, so all we're going to do is season our shrimp with the salt and pepper and, oops, I got a spoon, y'all, and a little bit of olive oil. And that's all we're going to do. So I'm just going to move some of this stuff back. And I'm just going to put in a little bit of the olive oil on here. Just drizzle a little bit on here. All right. And that's just to make sure that the seasoning sticks to it. I'm kind of bring it a little closer to it. And put a little bit of salt in here. And some pepper. And we're using salted butter. Um, so I'm not going to use too much salt. But if you use an unsalted butter, then yeah, you can add a little bit more salt to it. I'm just gonna stir this up. I might add just a little bit more pepper to this too as well. Yeah, add just a little bit more pepper. Okay. And like I said, y'all, this recipe from the cook time 20 minutes, y'all, less than 20 minutes, you can have this ready. You can have your crusty bread in the oven. Or if you, you know, get it all toasty. That's it, y'all. Salt and pepper. So now I'm just going to take you to the stove and we're going to get this cooked up. Okay, everyone. So I have my skillet here. I put in two tablespoons of olive oil in my skillet and also two tablespoons of butter. So the total amount of butter you need is two, four tablespoons of butter, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my shrimp uh -oh, into my pan. And this is a little bigger pan, so I'm going to kind of see, I'm gonna see if I can get all of them in here. And we're going to cook these for about two to three minutes on each side. 
until they get to that nice pink color and they start to curl up. Kind of move them aside here. All right, so that's it. And we're gonna let these finish cooking and then we're gonna add the remaining ingredients. Okay, y'all, I just wanna show you how you know when shrimp is ready to flip. So if you can see like this one here, it's still like opaque. Is it opaque? Yeah, clear. <laughs> So you know this is not quite ready to flip, but this one is. So I'm just going to flip this one over. You just want to do it until it turns that pink color before you flip it over. So the only ones that just look like it's still kind of on the top, like I said, two to three minutes, and you'll be fine with this shrimp. Okay, everyone, so the shrimp is done. I'm just going to add in the ones that it's finished, the first batch. I'm going to put that in there. Then we're going to add in our garlic into the pan. Along with the tablespoon of crushed red pepper. And you can add more if you want to. Kind of stick it around. That's just a half a tablespoon there. I mean teaspoon, teaspoon of red pepper. Now we're just going to mix this together to, get cook, to cook that garlic, but we don't want to burn it. Now we're going to add in another two tablespoons of butter, and my fire is on medium high heat. We're going to add in two tablespoons. Here, all right. Cook this. And like I said, you don't want to burn your garlic. So we're going to let this second butter melt. And then we're going to add in our lemon juice. Okay, but when the butter melts it, we're going to add in our parsley. Here. And a little bit of garlic to try to get away. And three tablespoons of our lemon juice, that's one, that's two, and three. So we're just gonna mix this together, get that all cooked up. Y'all, this smells really, really good too. And you can double this recipe. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. So we're going to turn off the heat because we don't want to overcook our shrimp. And that's it. That is how you make a spicy garlic butter shrimp. And that's it. Alright, so y'all, we're going to plate this up. And then we're done. You see how simple that is? And this, like I said, takes less than 20 minutes to cook this. And you got all that nice garlic and the red pepper flakes. Y'all, this is going to be really, really good. All right, so let me plate this up. All right, everyone, it is done. Y'all, look at the shrimp. Oh, my God. Less than 20 minutes. And, y'all, I don't try to pay attention, but I only had, like, a little bit of the lemon, lemon juice left. I just, like, less than a tablespoon. I just went ahead and added it to my sauce as well. Might as well, because I don't know why I would want to keep it around. So, Spicy garlic butter shrimp, y'all, and it looks so good. And I don't have a fork. Let me grab a fork because this is hot. All right, y'all, I got a fork. Y'all, look at this. You see that shrimp right there? With that garlic and that crushed red pepper and the parsley. Oh my God. And all the nice juices that would be really good on pasta. Mmm. I wish I had some crusty bread. Dog. Oh. I'm telling you, this would be really good with crusty bread because crusty bread. Sop up, sop up all of those juices. Alright, so that's it from now for my video. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thank you for stopping by and watching my video. Don't forget to hit the like button and comment. Let me know you would you try this spicy garlic butter shrimp. Y'all, it's really, really good. All right, y'all be safe out there. Stay cool, stay out of the heat if you can. And if you work in the heat, stay hydrated. Make sure you take care of yourself in this heat, y'all. 
God bless and be safe. Bye.